Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. One of the things that's really important about this mobile quarantine facility, even though it was for Apollo 14, there were only four that were built total. There were only three that are in existence today. One is in the Smithsonian, the other is the Huntsville Space Flight Center, but they're both kind of locked up and they're behind ropes. You can't touch them, you can't look inside them. This is the only one out of all the MQFs, the real ones, that you can actually touch, look inside, and on special holidays, go inside. So this is very, very, very special. We're going to look at a mobile quarantine facility that NASA built to house the astronauts once they returned from the lunar landing on the, on the moon program. I'm going to open the door, and we're going to step inside. This particular MQF was actually used in the Apollo 14 mission. That was the last one that had to be quarantined. Uh, after that, NASA determined that there were no moon germs and there was no reason to quarantine Apollo 15, 16, or 17. So one of the things I do when I'm giving my presentation is I talk about the quarantine protocol and the fact that they had to have special decontamination procedures. Um, and I asked the audience to tell me how you think you would kill a moon germ. The audience says, well, what's a moon germ look like? I say, this is what a moon germ looks like. So we'll do a little tour here. This is the door we just came in. And back here, you can see where the, the crew lounge basically was. This is where the three astronauts and two technicians, a, a doctor and an MQF technician, would get together and talk or read newspapers or whatever. Um, the window in the back is the one for Apollo 11 through which the astronauts, uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Mike Collins, said hello to the President of the United States, President Nixon, when he came to greet them here on the USS Hornet. We'll keep going around. You can see the seats, which are air, airplane seats. They revolve so they can actually swing forward, and there are seat belts, so lap belts, if you will. So when the plane is taking off, uh, the astronauts are facing forward, and they have lap belts. And they also have oxygen up here, oxygen masks that they can come down if they have a, a problem when they're flying in the, in the aircraft. And then here is the control panel, which the MQF technician would use to control the lighting and the air conditioning and other facilities here in the mobile quarantine facility. The basic Airstream trailer, but highly modified as you can tell. Then through this door, looking backwards, first what we have is the, um, if you will, the cooking area and the kitchen. So here is the sink, which was used to prepare food and, and um, process uh, uh, medical s samples and stuff like that. And then over here on this side, is the microwave oven, which was used to heat up prepackaged food that came in from the outside and then was heated up in the microwave oven and then fed to the astronauts. So this is one of the world's first microwave oven trays um, for the Apollo recovery. What they would do, the, a physician would place an amount of food on here that was measured, sample the size and so on and so forth. Then he would cover it with um, saran wrap, basically, and then it would be placed in a transfer lock. This transfer lock would be opened the plate would be put inside, and then the MQF technician would take this plate, put it in the microwave, and heat it up, and then serve it to the astronauts. And then in the back, you can see there are six bunks. Back here is where the crew slept, and by rank, the highest ranking astronauts would sleep on the top bunks, and then the lower ranking one would sleep down here. And then up here, there's storage areas for them to keep things in, um, such as their personal effects. Um, once they took their spacesuits off, of course, they had just regular flight suits and coveralls to wear and normal shoes and so on and so forth. One interesting story, this MQF was used for Apollo 14 and uh, Edgar Mitchell and Alan Shepard were the senior astronauts on Apollo 14 so they took the two lower bunks. Rushdie Swikart got this bunk up here and the first night when he was awoken by the flight surgeon to get a blood sample he just simply rolled out of bed and fell to the floor waking everybody up. 
when asked what that was all about, he said, well, I've been weightless for eight days. I had forgotten that there was such a thing as gravity. <laughs> so there was a lot of interesting things going on. Um, also, uh, Buzz Aldrin mentioned, while this may seem like a small place, he said, compared to that little lunar capsule that we were in for eight days, three guys, he said, this was the Taj Mahal. Back here is where the technician slept, MQF technician, and the flight surgeon for NASA. And then actually the spacesuits were stored in here, but I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a, there's a locker here in which the spacesuits were stored. And then further back is the bathroom. And the bathroom has a full shower, of course a toilet seat, and then uh, a little place for washing hands and rinsing things off. And of course those special fil filtration systems on the top so that they could filter any moon germs that might have come out of the Apollo moon rocks. They could filter that without it going back into the atmosphere. Um, the uh, astronauts stayed in here for about three days while they were on the ship transitioning from where the splashdown occurred to Pearl Harbor where they were headed back to. And uh, there were four MQFs built. There were only three that were ever used. Uh, and it turned out to be very successful. And as we know, there ended up not being any moon germs, but at the time, nobody really knew. Well, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the tour. We're going to go back out the very same door.